All right, so I'm here with John Otto, drummer for Limp Biscuit, ladies and gentlemen. Dude, John. What's up, man? Dude, it's so awesome to see, to see you, you, man. Yeah. Dude, John happens to be probably one of my biggest influences playing. Like, all the groove stuff that I've come up with is all based off of a lot of what John has done and has, you know, inspired me with. Thank and you I'm much. sure he's inspired a lot of you guys. Um, so let's let's talk your setup, man. I see that you've got um you've got your uh, your red red fur. Is that the finish? What you, what's the finish called? Yeah, it's it's like it's kind of the look is kind of you know like a Kango fur, you know, like you know the fuzzy Kango hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of what the idea behind that was. What is your current setup like? I know you've got one rack tom here and then a floor tom, and you're playing the yeah. you're playing the old school kit. This is kind of a broken down version of what I usually use. I usually have an, I usually have three crashes up here. The chinas are right. I usually put one more splash here. I usually do two rack toms and two floor toms and a uh, double bass pedal and then a second snare over here and a mini hi hat. Dude, I remember seeing this kit on your uh, on the tours back in like the late '90s. Oh yeah, yeah. This this kit's definitely probably about 16 years old, maybe. Yeah, it was one of the first ones that I had made. That I had that they made for me over there at OCDP. I mean, I, I use all different kinds of setups, though. You know, it just depends on the tour, like what I'm feeling, because I kind of like to switch it up. Because you know, you guys built me that gigantic, you know, humongo, humongo rack, you know. And, uh, the metal, the yeah, metal looking. Yeah, that's rack. when I, that's when I had uh, Neil Peart syndrome. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I kind of, kind of scaled down a little bit just to try to challenge myself in different ways. Why do you set up? Um, you mentioned that you have like two toms, like, the, and they're 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 offset compared to like uh, yeah. like a normal stock setup that you would yeah. see. Yeah, they're offset because um, I, I like to just kind of be more at an angle, and then and, and plus I'm using a double pedal, so it's just. I don't know, it feels, I just like the way it feels a little bit better, you know. Just kind of easier to get to? Yeah, it's easier. It's, I, I think it's easier. And plus, I like my, my uh, I like the uh, ride to be kind of tight next to me, you know what I mean? And if it's over here, then it's kind of gets away from me a little bit. Right, tweaks your shoulder out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So you mentioned that your setup has changed throughout the time. Like, mm -hmm. How many, like, what, what, what was it like when you were 20 years old versus what it is now? It, it hasn't really gotten too much different. I've either just added more drums or, or you know, my, my cymbal setup has always kind of been about the same, you know, because that's a lot of what I do in my band is a lot of different accents with cymbal sets. So you know, that really hasn't changed too much, but it's just whether I want to go full metal or not full metal. I think I've gotten smart, you know, as you, they always say, as you get older, you get kind of smarter about how you're doing things. Before, I was just kind of like, just go for it type mentality, and instead of like really trying to see what fits right, fits better for me, you know? And I think now it's just gotten more about what's easier to get to without using too much motion. That's how my setups kind of change. And then it's also like, do I want to play real kick drums or do I want to just use a double pedal? What do you prefer? <coughs> you prefer a double pedal or two kick drums? I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. I really love this pedal. You got the, you, you know? you're playing the G-Class pedal, yeah, right? Yeah, the G's. I, I really, really love that pedal. Um, they're just both, they're two different animals, you know? I mean, on the one hand, I, kind of, I think more naturally I like two kick drums, but then it messes up my space that I like to have everything else in because, oh, yeah. you know, so it's like, I kind of like the more simpler kind of setup right now, so I guess I'm gonna have to go with the, with the double bass pedal. Two kick drums are easier to play, you know what I mean? Oh, because there's the, the, the feel yeah, of the, the left feel, pedal is different. Yeah. Right. Let's talk about your rack for a second. When we, when you, <laughs> when you first came to the company, uh huh, you you were playing this ginormous like Huge. double tiered rack. Yes. So why did you make the choice to change over to stands? Because that particular setup was for, you know, two kick drums. It was it was a metal kind of like you know, Lars Ulrich, Neil Peart kind of. No! <laughs> set up, you know, and, and, and I just kind of wanted to get down to more of a tighter, cleaner, you know, more beat, simple setup, you know, because it, cause it, I just want it feels, it's a different kind of feel, you know, it's like, you know, when you're closer in and everything's right up on here, I can just kind of get into grooves better than when it's like, you're like, kind of like, whoa, everything's, you know what I mean? Right. So that's, that's more, that's the reason why I just kind of 
just, you know, I want to switch it up. So let's talk about the G-Class pedal a bit because mm -hmm. that pedal is like one of the, the most talked about um, releases last year. Oh, yeah. And it was a big release for Gibraltar. And um, I want to know I want to know what your thoughts are on it. You've been playing it for a while. I love it. It's the best pedal I've ever used, hands down, out of any pedal that I've ever used for my whole since I've been playing drums, since I was a kid. How would you describe the feel of the pedal? The feel of the pedal is real smooth and real, real clean. It's, it's, uh, it, it's, it's just, it's smooth. It's like there's no weird tension. There's nothing. It's just very, very precise. Yeah. And surgical. That's what I would describe it as. Surgical? Mm-hmm. That's a good. That's a good description. I've never heard that before. <laughs> um, and a question that I, I'm always like curious about. This is just for me. How many How many weights do you use in the uh, in the beater heads? None. None. You nope. just like it. You just like them light and just fly. Light, light and fly, fly with the wind. Yeah. Okay. Okay.